My name is George Washington Weddle. I was born on May 25, 1881 in Milton Township, Ashland, Ohio. I'm the son of William Benjamin Weddle and Lucy Matilda Crescher. My grandfather, on my mother's side, came to this country from Germany. My parents had many children, about ten. A couple died young, and I grew up in a family of eight. As a child, I was described as a sunny boy with red gold curls, big blue eyes, an infectious grin, and precocious beyond my years. I lived with my family on our farm when I secured my first teaching job. I was hired at the end of October 1899 to teach at the Anderson School in the winter term. I was hired after Mr. Stamen had to give up the job due to his health. I was 18 years old and this was my very first teaching job. The winter term began in the beginning of November. It was an exciting time for me. However, on November 22nd at 3 o'clock in the morning, the Anderson Schoolhouse burnt to the ground. The fire was caused by a faulty stove. I covered the fire at the close of school and it's thought that some sparks fell through the broken stove. Unfortunately, the fire was not discovered in time to save the contents. The schoolhouse was a brick building and had been built about 10 years ago. I was glad to learn that the school board decided to repair F.P. Whitmore's tenant house for use as a schoolroom until the next summer when the new schoolhouse was built. The scholars were able to resume their studies. However, I had to remind the parents to insist upon more regularity of attendance. During the month of January 1900, the old schoolhouse walls were torn down. Mr. White Weddell and Hoover cleaned about 22,000 bricks to be used in the new building. On January 24, 1900, the voters of the district met to decide upon the kind of schoolhouse to be built to replace the one burnt. The meeting lasted several hours, during which were stormy discussions about different plans. They finally decided unanimously to have the new schoolhouse modeled, with few exceptions, after that of sub-district number three, Paradise Hill. The new Anderson schoolhouse was built in 1900 I taught a term in the new building, and I had about 29 scholars. The boys enjoyed playing hockey. At the same time, I saved money to go to college. I rode my horse to Ashland College between 1901 and 1903 to take college preparatory courses. My family moved to Olympia, Washington in 1908. I attended Still College of Osteopathy in Des Moines, Iowa. While in school, I served as a literary editor for the college's yearbook. I was also a member of the Still College Band, Glee Club, and of the school's orchestra playing the drum. I graduated in June 1905 and became an osteopathic physician. People call me Dr. George. <laughs>